answer. You need to know this right now for August the 1st through August the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for August the 1st through August the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for August the 1st through August the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for August the 1st through August the 2nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Cancer, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Cancer, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Cancer. Clarify the hangman for Cancer. Clarify the hangman for Cancer. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For cancer, clarify the page of cups. For cancer, clarify the page of cups. For cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Cancer, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Cancer, it very well could be on hold about maybe starting a family. You know, someone may want to start a family here. Could also be that there's some type of romantic news about going into commitment, but the decision may be on hold to do so, okay? You could also tell me that you guys are stagnant and someone here is wanting to apologize to restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. You could also tell me that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love and you guys have already established commitment and you guys are single and this commitment may be coming to an end. Cancer, you have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Cancer, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the three of pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the three of pentacles for Cancer. It is clarified with death. 
Could be dealing with a Scorpio. <clears throat> But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death. But can't, sir. Clarify death. But can't, sir. Clarify death. But can't, sir. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Cancer, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now listen, Cancer, you know, it very well could be that someone's wanting to get the other's attention and work things out here. Start new after an ending because you guys were stagnant, but someone's trying to apologize. Could also be that someone's making an announcement here, wanting to go into some type of an agreement and transform things with you guys. No longer are we dating, now we're engaged. No longer engaged, now we're married. You could also tell me that <clears throat> something is being brought to someone's attention here about a third party because we found love messages here and it may be ending. <clears throat> Cancer, you have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see out of, excuse me, <clears throat> We see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So cancer very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Clarify the two of cups. But cancer, clarify the two of cups. But cancer, clarify the two of cups. But cancer... It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles again. So like I said, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration or there's a third party. Now listen, Cancer, you know, someone could realize that you guys are soulmates and wanting to work things out here. You can tell me that your soulmate had a third party and this may be the reason why it's ending. However, you guys can tell me that you want to solidify you guys' a soulmate connection and go into some type of an agreement here. Maybe a marital agreement. Cancer, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Clarify the emperor for cancer. It is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. <clears throat> This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of wands. Now, the queen of wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, 
anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Cancer, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer. It is clarified with you, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, the Queen of Cups. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Cancer, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Cancer, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Cancer, what about Cancer? What about Cancer? Clarify the Queen of Cups. But Cancer, it is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So cancer, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment. Now cancer, either this person, this Aries, this Taurus, this parent of your child, maybe someone you work with or do business with, Aries, Leo, or Sag, this person may be coming and offering you, but it's on hold here. Okay, someone could be coming in with some type of romantic news about commitment, but it's on hold here. Could also be that it's you wanting to come in with this offer, but maybe you're hesitating. Okay, maybe it's on hold. Hmm. Cancer, this could be work or business, but it has to be like a family business or something. You have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So Cancer, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Ace of Cups. For cancer. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting, a little suspicious, a little paranoid. So Cancer, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now Cancer, this can be some type of blessing here. Money, assets, resources, property. Like I said, it could be dealing with a family business here. You're a little hesitant. You can tell me that they're coming in with this offer of love here to start new, but maybe on a more committed stance here, and you're hesitant. It could also be you wanting to come in with this offer, but you're a little cautious and a little hesitant. Hmm. Let's take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Cancer. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I'm drunk in love. I'm drunk in love. Goodness. Let's take a look at the hidden truth oracle for you and your partner, Cancer. And it says, you speak to me through music. You speak to me through music, Cancer. You need to know this right now for August the 1st, 
through August the 2nd, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.